Everyone, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. For those of you watching from home, keep your eye on the chat. There are some digital drops coming you do not want to miss. your seats we are beginning very soon
In the beginning, burgers ruled the world. But one day, something new emerged. It was called taco. What started as a simple, delicious idea, we evolved and evolved and evolved and evolved. And you went f***ing bonkers for it. Who could have guessed that the humble taco would lead to this? Or that, or that, and that, and definitely that. And together we'll continue taking tacos to new places. It looks like this year's gonna be epic. And it's all for you. Here's a sneak peek of what's to come. Welcome to Live Moss Live! Give it up for your host, Armani White. It's a stylish, black tongue, big t-shirt, Billy Eilish. Watch on my wrist, but I want that diamond. Niggas talk crazy when I put up the sign. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Give it up for LPG over one time. Welcome to the inaugural Live My Live, a celebration not of Taco Bell, but of you, all the people who make Taco Bell what it is. My name is Armani White, and aside from being an entertainer, TikTok superstar, world-renowned legend, I don't know what else to say. I'm, a, I'm also a massive fan of Taco Bell. When they called me up to host, I almost spit a Baja Blast on my laptop, but... Enough about my fandom. Live My Slive is all about yours. So let's get started. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome to the stage the only man with a better sneaker collection than mine, the CEO, Sean Tresvan. Give it up for him. How's everybody doing? Good afternoon, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Wow. First of all, let's give it up again for Armani White, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, LP, Joe, beyond the ones and twos. I was just back to stage thinking, what gets bigger than this? What gets bigger than Super Bowl, Vegas, and of course, Times Taco Bell? Let's go, everybody. I want to start with two things. I want to start by giving thanks. Uh, first, thanks to you, the fans. Without this, none of it would be possible. So whether you're in the audience live today, whether you're on the stream, whether you're watching from somewhere around the world, on behalf of myself and Taco Bell, thank you, because again, without you, none of this would be possible. Second, give it up for yourselves. Get up for yourselves. Second, uh, I want to thank the Taco Bell team. Uh, we have a saying at Taco Bell, we like to do things only Taco Bell could do. Well, if you look at this, the purple carpet, the 50-foot screens, I think we're literally inside a crunch wrap. Only Taco Bell could do things like this. We've got the team working very hard, whether it's the fit team, the production team. So just really quick, we've got a lot of people back in Irvine watching the show live. Just a shout to Taco Bell. OK, who do we have in the house today? I see Devonte Adams right here. Devonte Adams in the house, great brand manager. Thank you, Devonte, for being part of the brand. Uh, I think Beekeeper's in the house. Where Beekeeper at? Beekeeper's in the house, great Beekeeper. Uh, the chat's blown up for Terry Joe. Terry Joe's in the house. Thank you for Terry Joe for being in the house. We've got surfer extraordinaire Kai Lenny in the house. Give it up for Kai Lenny. Uh, and of course, we've got Euro Kiro Taco Ballads in the house. Thank you for, for all the support. So about two years ago when I started, uh, I saw this tweet. The tweet was by uh, a handle called Christy Yamaguchi Maine. It's an incredible handle, Christy Yamaguchi Man. And the tweet hit me because I thought it perfectly embodies what Taco Bell's out about. So if you'll indulge me, I'd like to read you the tweet. The tweet says, the Taco Bell drive through at 1 a.m. will have a $200,000 Mercedes S65 waiting right behind a 96 Cavalier that's never had its oil changed, followed by a moped ridden by three people all craving the same thing all craving the same thing, and that's to live Moss. <laughs> truly, truly the last melting pot of class in this country. <laughs> that quote, that tweet inspired me, inspired me is because when I look around the room, when I go out in the marketplace, when I talk to fans, it truly embodies what this brand is about. It always has, and it always will. So how did it start? It started in 1962 with this gentleman in that mean cowboy hat. That gentleman is named Glenn Bell. 
Clem Bell started the brand in 1962, and he had a simple vision. The vision was to make tacos famous. Glenn Bell wanted to make tacos famous, but he did it on two words. It was about unconventional and curiosity. Unconventional curiosity was what he was talking about. It was unconventional because think about at that time, burgers dominated. It was all about the hamburger. But he had a vision is how do we make tacos famous? And curious or curiosity is because the people who ate Taco Bell had to be a little curious. They had to be a little bit unconventional to try Taco Bell. Now let's fast forward 62 years. Let's fast forward 62 years. The DNA of this brand, what myself and the team try to uphold is still that unconventional curiosity. We still want to be unconventional. We want to be unconventional for you, the fans. And we still are curious. We're still pushing the envelope every day. We're still holding ourselves to a higher bar. So what happened 62 years ago with a vision of making tacos famous, we're living it today because you guys are making tacos famous each and every day. So thank you. I also want to talk about Live Moss. Uh, Live Moss for us is a tagline, it's a headline, it's a rallying cry, and quite honestly, it's a way of life. But what it also is, is a reminder. It's a reminder to each and every one of us to help to ins inspire and enable you guys to live your Moss, whatever your Moss is. And it's really important as we go forward in the future that we allow you and inspire you to live your Moss. A couple more things for me before I go. First, we have a great show for you guys planned today, an incredible show. We've got a couple team members coming up. First, you're gonna meet Liz Matthews. Liz Matthews, I can't wait to meet her. I can't wait to meet her. Liz Matthews is a Taco Bell legend. She's an industry icon. She's a bad mamma jamma. Liz is a bad mamma jamma, and she literally is cooking in the kitchen, no pun intended. So you'll meet Liz, and she'll take you through all the creative, wonderful, innovative food that we're cooking up at Taco Bell. And then you'll meet Taylor Montgomery. Taylor Montgomery is the CMO of Taco Bell, incredibly creative guy, savant, and, and, and pretty sharply dressed this evening. Pretty sharply dressed this evening. Before I go, when you guys came in, you guys had uh, some t-shirts on your, on your chairs. That is a gift from Taco Bell and Born and Raised. Is Born and Raised in the house? Born and Raised is in the house, Tone's in the house. Born and Raised did this jacket. We've been working for Born and Raised for about two years. That's the, the artwork for the t-shirts. They're gonna be at the merch tent later, but thank you to Born and Raised because the merch for this show is incredible. And if you're at home, stay tuned because we're gonna drop in the chat how you get your Born and Raised material uh, during the show. So that's it for me. Again, without you guys, none of this will be possible. So thank you to the fans. And I'm gonna turn it back over to Armani White. The Crunch Wrap, the Doritos Locos Taco, the Baja Blast, the Naked Egg Taco. Don't bring up the Naked Egg Taco? Okay, scratch that. We, <laughs> if there's anything that Taco Bell is known for, it's pushing the push envelope, I'm sorry, of what food can be. But how exactly do they do it? Do they all just get together in a test kitchen, spark one up, let the ideas fly? Well, let's find out. Check out this insider's look behind the curtain of what Taco Bell's test kitchen is up to. So this is the Taco Bell test kitchen, huh? Where is everyone? I don't know. They're probably thinking about what the next big thing is going to be. This is where the Crunch Wrap, Nacho Fries, and the Doritos Locos Tacos were born. The only question is, how do we do it? Well, we fail. A lot. We swing big. We strike out. We break things. We screw up. We miss the mark and drop the ball. Yeah, but we keep going. Why? Well, for you. And we know every failure is one step closer to the next Mexican pizza, the next cheesy gordita crunch, or whatever we think you'll love. So, what's next? Who knows? Ask these people. Or better yet, ask Liz. She's about to walk on stage.
Hello, Liv Moss. It is so great to be here. Um, and yes, Armani, my team does dabble a little bit in edibles, but I think it's very different than what you were talking about. Uh, but seriously, you guys, I am so thankful for you all coming today. Thank you for streaming in. Uh, I am Liz, and I definitely have the coolest job in the world because I lead the team that develops all of the amazing food for Taco Bell. And it is an amazing group. Look at them. They are a group of chefs, big thinkers, innovators, and all of us are driven by really one thing. We have this ferocious appetite to create the next big thing at Taco Bell. And you saw that video. We are working on things day in and day out. And honestly, we never literally get it right on the first time, but we keep chasing the ideas until we do something amazing. Now, the one question that I get is where do we come up with all the inspiration? And well, it actually comes from everywhere. We, we definitely eat a lot of food. We talk to a lot of people. We study food and flavors. And we especially get our inspiration actually from all of you guys. And I am so grateful for you. Yes, I am so grateful for you guys. So grateful. Because you guys tell us what you love. And even more importantly, you tell us what you do not love. So keep that feedback coming, because it actually guides everything that we do. So today, later in the show, we are going to actually reveal all those ideas that did work um, and that we are launching this year. So really exciting stuff to come. Now, I've been with the brand for 20 years. So let me tell you, 20 years. So I have seen a lot of things. And with thousands of ideas every single year, honestly, you guys, most of them just don't make it because everything cannot be a Doritos Locos Tacos, right? I mean, even that, you saw, there were hundreds of iterations. It actually started out as a triangle, not even a taco shell. So I've seen a few things over the years that have gone completely sideways. So I thought I'd share a few with you. This is the burgerito. This is where the cheeseburger met the burrito. What do you guys think? Yeah, no, no, just it didn't work. Then we did some fire sauce with boba. Anybody interested in that? Yeah. No, I, no, no words for that. It might be a bad idea, right? I don't know. Then there was the bacon taco. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Hey, now, the shell was entirely made of bacon. I mean, that sounds great, right? But it got super awkward holding that much bacon in your hand. So it does turn out that you can have too much bacon. Uh, then there was the chitza. This was a tostada. A piece of chicken fried like a tostada, topped like a pizza. No, that didn't work. Um, this one always bothers me, hash brown taco. It's hard to believe that it didn't work, but it turns out it's, I know, right? I know, I know, it sucks. But it turns out it's a lot harder to form potatoes into a taco. So anyways, my point here is that we have had our fair share of misses. But now I want to share with you what's actually going on behind the doors of the test kitchen that I am really, really excited about. So let's have a look, my friends. All right, so I love the double-decker taco, but why not make that a triple-decker taco, right? Yeah, make that third shell entirely of Jack and Cheddar cheese. I know. What if there were even more choices of coffee at Taco Bell in the morning? You know, pick me up, start me up, afternoon treat. Maybe we could partner with Beekeeper for a horchata latte in the morning? Yeah. How about gyoza at Taco Bell? We'll do it Taco Bell style. Yeah? I mean, look at that. Dip that in a soy Diablo chili sauce. Yeah. Last year, we dropped the vegan crunch wrap and the vegan nacho fries. I know. I'm so passionate about this space, too. So my vegan and vegetarian friends, watch out, because there is more to come in this space. Yes, that's what I'm saying. All right, so do you guys remember the Choco Taco? Yeah. What if we took that to the next level? Yeah. And we partnered with Salt and Straw, the most amazing ice cream shop out of Portland. And they are just so innovative with all of their flavors. I mean, look at that. Look at that. All right. So question for you guys. This is a serious question. Should a chimichanga and a chalupa merge? I love you guys, because of course it should. And we should call it the chimilupa. Right? Absolutely. So elote and queso, two perfect foods. Let's merge those together. Look at behind me. It's getting super serious. We've got cotilla, corn, chilies, and cheese. All right. Another question. I always wonder this. Why don't we have shakes? 
Yeah, guys, they are coming. Yeah, these are the, yeah, I'll say. These are the churro chillers. Okay, it's rich vanilla ice cream, it's swirled with caramel, it's topped with cold form, and then it's drizzled with churro bits all over the top. I mean, look at that. You can get it in Mexican chocolate and strawberry. It's just beautiful. All right, so we are always dreaming about Baja Blast, of course, because we love Baja Blast. Now, I love our cinnamon twists, don't get me wrong, but what if we switched them up a little bit for a treat and we dusted them with that tropical storm of Baja Blast, right? Yeah, amen. All right, Baja Blast pie. I know, I know. And I'm telling you, it's honestly the best thing I've probably ever eaten. And this could bring a whole new tradition to the holidays. So I'm excited about that. And then most recently, did you guys see the Baja Blast gelato? I know. I know, I know, it's perfect, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's delightful, I mean, I can't say enough about it. All right, so those are just a few things that we're dreaming about in the kitchen. Sound good? Okay. So while we're working on a lot of ideas, there's always one thing that super bums me out. No matter how hard we work, and no matter how much we dream, we will always be outnumbered by all the amazing, amazing culinary genius that's out there in the world. I mean, think about it, guys. It's sad. Think of how many ideas that we're actually missing. So we got to thinking about this, and what if we tapped into this genius? What if we co-created the future for Taco Bell with some of the best emerging chefs in the country? We opened up our doors, yeah, opened up our doors to different voices, perspectives, ideas, flavors. I mean, our ideas could be even better. So today, we are excited to announce a new program that does exactly that. So take a look at it. Sixty-two years ago, we hit the scene, putting our spin on things, and we haven't stopped since. But new ideas don't just happen here, they happen out here, and here, and here. Introducing TBX, a collaboration with emerging chefs. New flavors, new perspectives, new ideas, taking us all to new places. Our thing, plus their thing equals a whole new kind of thing. Our back of house is about to get a whole lot bigger. Chefs, apply at tacobell.com slash tbx. All right. Woo! All right, so TBX is all about supporting the best emerging talent in this country and co-creating the next thing for Taco Bell. So starting today, chefs, you can apply. So that's out there, so do that. But what I want to do today is I want to introduce you to our first class of TBX chefs. So want to bring them out on stage? All right. All right. These are our first class of TBX chefs. So I am super excited to invite you guys to the family, um, and we are so excited to work with you. So what I thought we would do is we would present you with your Taco Bell apron. I know, right? This is very exciting. Okay, so Jen, the way you blend classic American flavors with your Taiwanese roots is incredible, and it landed you a James Beard Foundation nomination for Best Chef in Texas. Big deal. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, Chef Ruben. Ruby of Philly. You are known as the Willy Wonka of tacos. Your Mexican Asian fusion with so much beautiful color and so much amazing flavor is why your pop ups sell out in seconds. Thank you. Woo. All right, and Lawrence, happy to see you. All right, your deep understanding of Mexican flavors and street food have put you at the top of the list for Best New Restaurant by Esquire Magazine and Bon Appetit. Thank Welcome you. to the family. Woo! Give it up. All right, guys, are we ready for our first project? Yeah? Yes. All right, let's, let's talk about it. Okay, so our first project is our icon, the Crunchwrap. Okay? This is our most loved and our most hacked product, and this is your canvas. You guys can change it, 
you can tweak it, you can reinvent it. It's got six sides and it's got infinite possibilities. So chefs, I want you to have at it. I want you to dream big. And we are so excited to imagine the future of Taco Bell with you. And I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna do. All right, let's give it up for them. All right, guys, we are out of here. Thank you so much for coming. I'm gonna turn it back to Armani. Getting your music career off the ground can be a struggle. You're on the road, barely scraping by, subsisting on passion alone. So getting support from an unexpected place can make all the difference. Taco Bell's Feed the Beat program does exactly that. For over 17 years, over 2,000 artists have gone through the program from Portugal to Man to Halsey to, oh, Armani White. And <laughs> as a proud member of Feed the Beat myself, I should know. So Taco Bell is big news. This year, the program that has fed and helped break thousands of emerging artists is going global. But enough talking. It is my pleasure to introduce another Feed the Beat artist who just so happens to have a Taco Bell menu collab coming out later this year. Give it up for the one and only Omar Paolo. Hello. How's everybody doing, man? I'm, I'm gonna sing a quick song. Evergreen, he controls me. Was there something wrong with my body? Am I not what you wanted, baby? If I ever tried, if I ever tried, I would. Yes, I would. Evergreen, he tells me to be safe. He doesn't even have to try. She don't know you like me. She could never love you more, more than. But sometimes I pray that you fall in love. I've cried, I've cried so much for you, be evergreen. He tears me to pieces. He doesn't even have to try. You know you really made me hate myself. Had to stop before I break myself. Should have broke it off the day myself. Didn't deserve me at all. At all. At all. One last time. I'll see. Evergreen, please don't come on to me. Oh, 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 sweet evergreen, he don't love me no more. He don't Thank you. Thanks for showing love, whoever said it. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do you do when you have the best, most engaged, 
and sometimes almost too passionate fans in the whole wide world? You create awards to recognize their greatness. Introducing the Bell Awards, the most prestigious awards in the history of brand new awards that celebrate Taco Bell fandom. Oh, and did we mention every Bell Award comes with a year of tacos? Because every Bell Award comes with a year of tacos! The 2024 Bell Awards, presented by Taco Bell. Welcome to the 2024 Bell Awards. I'll be honest, I did not have a Taco Bell Awards show on my 2024 bingo card, but here we are. And I got an excuse to dress up. Y'all like this? Y'all like this suit? Is it a good suit? Is it a good suit? Is it a good suit? I don't wear suits. That's why I'm trying to, I'm returning it when it's over. You know what I mean? <laughs> but enough about me. The 2024 Bell Awards are all about you. The fans who push Taco Bell to innovate every day. And with that, I'd like to welcome Davis Burleson. Come on. Get out here, Davis Can we give a round of applause for Armani? Come on. I love that guy. Okay, good job, Taco Bell. Welcome to the 2024 Bell Awards, Taco Bell celebration of you, the fans. Tonight, we have awards to give out to Taco Bell fans, each and every one of whom truly love the brand. I mean, these people bleed purple, and they aren't afraid to show it. So, let's get into it. Award number one, the menu hack of the year. Picasso had canvas, Michelangelo had marble, and Taco Bell fans have the Taco Bell menu, a white space of infinite possibility as long as it involves meat, cheese, and a tortilla. And wow, did Taco Bell fans come up with some amazing hacks. This year's winner blew our minds with truly ingenious menu hacks and wine pairings that elevate the taco menu in ways we never dreamed of. The Menu Hack of the Year Award goes to, this is so exciting, out of a Taco Bell bag, Tarun Sinha. Hello. Here you go, a Bell Taco Bell Award for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh. Next up, the Taco Bell Wedding of the Year. Yes, you heard that right. Wedding of the year. Some people dream of getting married in a Tuscan villa. Others dream of a ceremony intimate in their backyards. But one wedding venue outshines them all. Everyone's going to like the food. The parking is easy. And the price is right. Last year, one very special wedding was out of this world. And I mean literally. They got married at a Taco Bell in the metaverse. The Taco Bell Wedding of the Year Award goes to... Sheil Monat and Amruta Godbull. Yes! My gosh. Thank you. I don't know if we're in real life or in the metaverse right now, but yeah, there's the award. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Oh my gosh, I want to get married in the what, what metaverse. I got to figure out how that even works, though. All right, this next one is a personal favorite. It's time to recognize the drive through ride of the year. You know who loves Taco Bell? Everyone. Just look at the drive through From brand new sports cars to 15-year-old beaters, the Taco Bell drive through is America's great unifier. The drive through ride of the year award goes to... What kind of car is it? What kind of drive through Cutter Burke and his Bell Taco Bell motorcycle. Yeah! Here you go. Gosh. Congratulations. <laughs> ah, the best Live Moss Moment Award. What is a Live Moss Moment, you ask? Well, it's living by your rules. It's doing your thing your way. In short, it's being epic and truly living life to the ma -sess. You see what I did there? <laughs> and the best Live Moss Moment goes to... 
Kai Lenny. Kai Lenny, get up here, Kai. <laughs> there you go, congratulations. We could, go, we could go on and on about just how epic Kai is, but I think this clip says it all. What's going on inside your belly? What are you feeding this machine today? I just had a pretty good bean burrito before I went out. Man, bean burritos from Taco Bell hit the spot. I just feel so content. Actually, right after this interview, I'm gonna go have another one. Nothing like Taco Bell while you're surfing, okay? <laughs> to help present tonight's last and some would say biggest award, please join me in welcoming three-time all-pro wide receiver and Taco Bell superfan, Devontae Adams. Thanks, Dave. Um, it's actually crazy that we're doing this because I was just sitting there um, a second ago thinking that there's no place in the world I'd rather be than here presenting this award of the Taco Bell Superfan of the Year. So really excited to do that. There's no place you'd rather be? No. Really? Like, you're a football player. It's Super Bowl weekend. You wouldn't want to be anywhere else? Uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll continue. Okay, Taco Bell has the most passionate, over-the-top fans in the world, and it's about time they were given their due. Yeah. The, the Taco Bell Superfan of the Year award goes to... The Living, the Living Moss, Moss Community. Community. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. The Living Moss Community has time and time again scooped up Taco Bell's biggest announcements. It's almost like they know it's going to be released before Taco Bell even knows. It's, pretty, it's cool. They're really smart. Here to accept the award on behalf of the community is the founder, Blake Hunley, a.k.a. Taco Bell Blake. Get up here, Blake. Get up here, Blake. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Blake, everybody. Well, that's a wrap on our 2024 Bell Awards. Give it up for the winners. Yes. All right. Congratulations, everyone. Back to you, Armani. Bye. <laughs>
I love you guys so much on Reddit, but every time we have a secret, you guys leak it before we can. Tonight, we get to be the leak, so that's the real reason. Okay, and I know everybody out there in Reddit world had some questions on the AMA. You had questions, we were listening, and we have answers. Okay, now I have to do a legal disclaimer. Talk about legal team, I know you're in the house. Everything that we're gonna share, let me just make sure I'm reading it right, is subject to change. Legal, are we good? Okay, here we go. Buckle up. This is the big reveal. Let's get into it. Let's start with value. Hey, this isn't a new launch, but this is out right now. We are a value brand. We pride ourselves on being that brand that has been there for you when you want something delicious and craveable, but maybe don't have a lot of money in the bank. So this year we launched a new value menu, 10 items, $3 or less, our new Cravings value menu. First new value menu that we've had in about 10 years. Go try it, that's my favorite product, the chicken enchilada burrito. Woo! Now, I'm gonna give a little innovation secret. I cleared this with Liz earlier. Sometimes we just put a little twist on something that you guys love and it just blows your minds. It blows our minds too. So this is the first one. Did anybody try the grilled cheese dipping taco last year? Some people did. How about a chicken and steak enchilada grilled cheese dipping taco? Oh, we like that. Um, if you like the OG, you're gonna really love this one. Uh, Cinnabon Delights, does anybody like Cinnabon Delights? I gotta hear louder than that if you want us to do this. What about Dulce de Leche Cinnabon Delights? You like that? You feel good about that? One of the biggest things we hear, and guys, we're listening all the time, is bring back our nacho fries. Dusted in those delicious Mexican spices. So I'm gonna share a little secret, you wanna hear it? We are gonna have nacho fries in our restaurants longer this year than we've ever had them before. And while we haven't fully figured it out, we wanna make them permanent. We want to make fries permanent. Now we haven't figured it out yet, we're working on it, but that's what we wanna do. Now, the other thing is with our, our fries, ketchup is for everybody else. So we shop, swapped ketchup for nacho cheese, but the thing that we found out is like, you guys like a little heat with our nacho fries. Did anybody try the, t the Truff collab that we did? Okay, well, we're gonna do a new collab this year with Secret Aardvark. Secret Aardvark, if you haven't tried it, it's this rad brand out of Portland. It is absolutely delicious. So when our fries come back this year, we are gonna have a Secret Aardvark sauce. How's that sound? Okay. Now, not everybody loves nacho fries, but everybody does, but we get a lot of questions. We get a lot of DMs about bring back something. Would anybody like to ask something to be brought back on the menu? Kai. Green sauce and the bean burritos. Anybody else? Taco Bell some. The double XL grilled burrito. Uh, we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that. I know that's a really deep cut. Not everybody knows that one. <laughs> the two things that we get hurt here a lot about people to bring back um, are two items that I'm gonna share with you that everybody's gonna get to vote on on which one comes back. And this Halloween, we are gonna bring back one of these items from the dead. Are we ready to see the choices? Yeah. So here's what you get to vote on this year. It is gonna be between the Mexi Melt, oh my God, the oxygen just like got sucked out of the room, and the caramel apple empanada. Tay, I know you like that one. I know you like that one. Now voting is gonna open later, but I want a little, little exit poll. So who's team Mexi Melt? Can I hear that? Okay, where's Team Caramel Apple Empanada? Uh, team Mexi Melt, you're gonna have to step up your game a little bit, that race wasn't really tight. So this Halloween, one of these is gonna come back. Go out there if you're a loyalty member, make sure you get in there and vote. Now, these are things that we're gonna bring back. Things that you love, things that you've seen from us before, but what about some new stuff? Ooh, the lights are getting dark. First up, the cheesy, chicken crispinata. Oh my God, look at that thing. It is a riff on an empanada, and you guys don't really have to wait. Do you know when you're gonna get to try this? Next week in every single Taco Bell, next Thursday, go get your cheesy chicken crispinata, and if you're a loyalty member, we're gonna give 10,000 of these bad boys away. So make sure you're a loyalty member, go get a free crispinata on us. Where are my Chalupa fans? This is like the Chalupa section, I like this. 
Um, how about a cheesy street chalupa? A cheesy, oh, it's for real. A cheesy street chalupa. Everything you love about street tacos. The size, the onions, the cilantro, the carne asada, the chicken, all twisted together in a way that only Taco Bell can because our street chalupas, the shell has cheese on the inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, now, this one I need a little help with. It caused a big stir, and I don't quite get it because I think it makes a lot of sense for us. Taco Bell chicken nuggets. Yes way. Whoever said no way, yes way, girl. You're going to get some. These are our Taco Bell chicken nuggets. All white meat, marinated in buttermilk, jalapeno buttermilk, and they're going to come with two sauces. One, our signature bell sauce. Ooh. It's a mystery, but you got to try it. And jalapeno honey mustard. Do we think that these chicken nuggets belong at Taco Bell? Tay, you think these chicken nuggets belong at Taco Bell? You th he thinks so, he thinks so. Now, can we just give it up for Omar Apollo one more time, please? Uh, Omar is an amazing musician, um, but we actually got introduced to Omar through his family's hot sauce, Disha Hot. Um, this is a hot sauce recipe passed down from generations from Omar's family. Um, so we decided we're gonna do something special. We're gonna take Omar's family's dream and we're gonna share it with the whole world. We are going to create, and coming later this year, Omar Apollo and Disha Hot are going to get their very own Taco Bell hot sauce packet. Mm, that's right. And if you haven't tried it, it's absolutely delicious. Uh, now, speaking of our sauce packets, um, we know that you guys love our sauce packets, right? Yeah? Um, we've seen some pretty interesting things you guys have done with our sauce packets. We've seen proposals. We've seen gender reveals. We've seen some breakups, which is a little heartbreaking. Um, and we love our sauce packets, too. But then I and the team, we stumbled upon this tweet. Brilliant the kid, I really hope that you're out there because you were really honest. Um, I'm wearing skinny jeans right now. I still think that they're cool, but uh, maybe they're not. Um, and you know what, Brilliant the kid, we agree with you. Um, our sauce packets, they need to grow up a little bit. They need a little bit, they need a little glow up. So I'm going to be the first one to introduce to you our brand new Taco Bell hot sauce packets. Let's look at them. Mild, hot, fire, Diablo, and there's a newcomer to the bunch. There you go, Kai. There you go. Those are our new sauce packets coming this year. Now, the green sauce. Can we talk about the green sauce? Kai, it wasn't just for you, I gotta tell you. There was, a, there was a little method to the madness here. That is our new avocado verde salsa, and that is for our brand new cantina chicken menu. We are launching a brand new menu next year. That's right. So let's talk a little bit about it. Um, I know, and we all know, that you guys love us for late night, um, but you guys do know that we're open for lunch, right? You do, right? Um, we want you guys to love us for more than just late night. And what we heard from you guys is, look, man, we will absolutely come to Taco Bell, but can you give us some chicken options? That would make us fall in love with Taco Bell for lunch. Look no further. The Taco Bell Chicken Cantina menu. Can we roll the sexy food footage, please? Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. That is the new Cantina Chicken Menu. And if you're a loyalty member, every single person is going to get a free Cantina Crispy Chicken Taco to try when this menu drops in March. Are we excited about that? That's right. March cannot come soon enough. Now, we're always listening. Liz says that. We're listening. We're thinking about what's happening in culture, and we're looking for the hot brands. Does anybody like tahini? Anybody like tahini on some stuff? How about a Taco Bell tahini menu? Yeah. A tahini taco, tahini twists, and a tahini freeze. This is something that we're really excited about to test this year. Now, we're all family, right? We are? Families celebrate birthdays, and we have a birthday in the house. Oh, I love the air horns. Can we play one more time, please? Thank you. Oh, man. Love a good reggaeton horn. Baja Blast turns 20 years old this year. 20 years old. The tropical lime storm that we all know and love is turning 20 years old this year. And to celebrate, we're going to throw Baja Blast 
a birthday party, um, an ice cream party to be exist, exact. Everybody likes this, right? How about everybody gets to try this in Taco Bell's this summer? Baja Blast Gelato will be in every one of our Taco Bells for a very, very, very limited time at the end of the summer. Are we excited about that? Don't sleep on it. So that was 2024. We unveiled a lot of secrets, a lot of things that we're excited about. Should we do one more? Yeah. Should we, though? Should we do one more? Yeah. One more? Behold the crunch wrap. I would say it's the hexagon of Taco Bell perfection. And what you see, this looks like a regular crunch wrap, right? Oh, it's not. When you look inside, that is a cheese it inside. 16 times the size of a regular cheese it, I present to you the cheese it crunch wrap. Liz and her team knocked it out of the park. It will make you want to make it rain Cheez-Its every day. It is a Cheez-It 16 times the size of a regular Cheez-It wrapped up in a tortilla with all of the goodies that you love from a crunch wrap. It's innovative. It's delicious. It was our number one test in 2022. And this summer, you're going to get to try the Cheez-It crunch wrap and tostada at every single Taco Bell in America. Yeah? Now, there's only one thing bigger than the Cheez-It. Can we give it up for Armani White one more time, please? He's been an amazing host, um, but we got to send you guys up with what he does best, best. He's also a fire rapper. So with that, to close us out, Armani, man, take us home. Check, check, check. This is the grand finale. I need y'all to get about y'all seats and make some noise for Armani White. Let's go. Ain't too many picks. Bluetooth, don't send me none. Press no, who in this? Where? Please roll these windows up. White truck, hop popping out. Black truck, come pick me up. Uh. G tell John, she eat me. Hey, be hey. down, say hey. hey. Hop in them boys in the hot, they know what with the block. And the boys in the body got work in the hood. They got hoods in the drivers. Hey. I walk in the party before and the doctors. He got me, he wanted, he wanted to find it. Whistle the mile the most on the drop. Free for the vibe, you can shoot him a dime. We got shoot to the ladder, this boy, we slide. They want exotic. Uh, how much drink was a women who not in? Wear my dinner tins up with the kind clothes. Got designer what? homies. What? Black on black front of what I leave. I don't do dinner to talk. Eat. Jump out the window, my front. See. She wants to get a gun. Breathe. Let's go. Let's go. Make them. Whoa. Okay. Make them, make them stop. Breathe. Talk about make some noise. We just get started. I had to get out of this tuxedo. I can't move like that in this tuxedo. We need to turn the energy up. I know, I know, so y'all can make some noise. Say this one with me. I'm stylish. Black chalk, big t-shirt. Billy Island. Watch on my wrist without one that in. Diamonds. Pretty tough, crazy when I pull up. It's silent. My A, run that big back, think I'm stylish. Black chalk, big t-shirt. Billy Island. Watch on my wrist, but I want that in diamond. Pretty tough, crazy when I pull up. It's silent. Mile high. What's up, first class? I'm like, Whoa, put it in perspective. If I got everything I wanted and some extra, I am not the type of turning into a detective. Got two on my own phone. They leave it checking. Uber eats the food I don't call, I just text it. Guess I don't bail my little chick out of breakfast. I flexed on my legs with no fancy. So no fancy. I checked it. No guess. This so a don't check it. Two pistols. Thirties in the clip. These and Open hand smack them in the middle like I'm Kimbo. You be throwing cash on the strip, my money clip got a whip for the free. I got a chick, but a chick ain't got free. I know she trip when I dip, so I free. Pillow talking about me like I'm sleep. Let me see, know this gym, you just right up under me. Whoa, I'm stylish. Black top, big t-shirt, Billy. Black top, big t-shirt, Billy. Black top, big t-shirt, Billy. Black top, big t-shirt, Glock top, big t-shirt, Billy Island. Watch your my wrist, but I want that in. Heard he talk crazy when I pull up. Hey, hey, hey. First class, I'm the Let's go, Blanco. We not done. We got more for him. Taco Bell, y'all want some more? Y'all want some more? Let's go. Oh, this is a Taco Bell classic right here. Used to have it silver, too, but now it's just a pop. Killers who got shot with the I don't want to catch the feelings. I be trying to see what's up. I let shorty clean the penance. I'm out. Hold on. Run it back. Used to have a silver tube when I was just a pup. Now I got some killers who got shot with the I 
don't wanna catch a feelings, I be trying to see what's up. I let shorty clean the penis, how about that? Diamond in a rough, okay. First order of biz, no snitching. I try to keep it silent, but the kids don't listen. I got another head, no flinching. And tell them send a watch that I can fit both wrists. She on the class trying to get a bigger. She think I'm a last, cause I got a pass with her. And I ain't trying to let her down, but I'm that. If you was trying to settle down, get a fat. White song, pull up in the city with a nice job. Lights up. Lights on. Tiny throw the chicken, need a wipe to throw the rice on. Pull up double part with all the ice on. Pick a block. She running up. She running up. Then up, 50 seconds should I double down, then I double the 2020, and I'm the only coming up. Get him Blanco, get him Blanco. Hey, 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 I see you. Taco Bell, let's go. I said used to have a silver too, but now we just up. Now I got some killers who got shot in the I don't want to catch a I be trying to see what's up. I'll let Shorty clean the penis, I'm a diamond in the Taco Can we give it up a little bit for Armani White, please? That is it. That is a wrap for the first ever Live Moss Live. I want to thank everybody that made this possible, the entire Taco Bell team, everybody that's watching out there back in Irvine. We love you. Our franchise partners that are here, our, the amazing marketing team, everybody back in the kitchens and in the restaurants, thank you. And on behalf of the Taco Bell family, we want to say thank, we, thank you to you the fans. This brand would not be what it is without you. Now, are we all hungry? Yeah. Okay. If you are in this room, behind you, behind these four doors, are portals to take you to four very different worlds that we created for you, where you're going to try every single thing that we showed you today. Yeah? Yeah? And if you're watching at home, uh, look in the chat. We're going to drop you some free Taco Bell goodies so you can get down on some Taco Bell, too. That's it for the first ever Live Moss Live. Let's eat. Thank you. Thank you.